Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial and as requested by most of you when I posted it on my Facebook and on my community tab on YouTube, I asked um, what landscape theme uh, would you like for the next painting tutorial and most of you um, suggested a winter painting scene or a winter landscape. So I chose, uh, I think, uh, uh, this is a good winter landscape um, image that we will be painting and I'll be linking in the description box below as always the reference image for this painting tutorial. So we will be doing a lot of trees today and some light play which is my most favorite and the colors are actually in the description box below as well but I might you know I think it's it's always good to just mention the colors. So we have here lots of titanium white Thalo green, thalo blue, mid, yeah, I don't know if you can see because I have lots of um, uh, dried acrylics right here, but I hope you can see. So this is mid yellow, you can actually use your cadmium yellow. We have black, burnt sienna, and orange. So let's begin now. I'll be sketching first the subject using my paint straight away and yeah, let's go on and let's just do this. So I'm gonna wet my brush, okay? And I'm gonna uh, outline first where things are gonna go. And for that, I'll be using my phthalo blue, okay? like that and there will be some snow snow right here okay I actually don't know how this is going to turn out but let's just do it anyway all right and there will be some trees right here Okay, some trees right here, but um, the sketch um, will be disregarded or will not do so much of a job uh, if we do a, if we do that today because I have to underpaint first the background, which is the sky and some distant trees. So for that, I'll be using a larger brush just for me to be able to quickly done it. I mean, do it. Okay. So I'll be doing the sky first. So again, I'll be using my phthalo blue and then titanium white. Alright, that will be filled with foliage and trees later. For now, let's just allow the paint to dry. Alright, like that. 
Okay, I'm gonna allow that first to dry and then let's move on to underpainting the snowy part of this landscape. So I'll be washing the brush out. It doesn't really matter if uh, some blue paints will mix because um, we'll be using we will be using some blue hints or hints of blue in the snow portion. So I'll be getting my black tiny bit. I'll be getting my white to make some gray color like this. Maybe this is too gray, but again, I don't mind. I'm just going to go for it. And same thing right here. All right? Okay, I'll be doing the same thing over here because this is where the snow is. Okay. Also here. Like that. Okay. All right. So I'll be using a smaller brush now to underpaint the. Um, this is like a model, like um, melted, uh, melted uh, snow. So it's quite watery right here, and this is a pathway. So for the pathway, I'm gonna get my blue. I mean, black, <laughs> and then. I'm gonna make some darker gray, darker version of this red. Okay. So remember that we're still under painting, that's why you can actually tell how rough I do the sketch. Because the sketching gives us the idea of where things are going to go on the canvas and um, it helps us identify the areas to be corrected immediately because you kind of have an overview of how things are going to go. Alright, so this is the pathway, like a little road. All right, and then for this part, I'm just gonna use my burnt sienna. I'm not washing my brush. I'm wetting my brush, but I'm not really washing it. So I'm gonna get my burnt sienna and then just underpaint this. I'm gonna mix with some yellowy color, right? Later, this will make sense, guys, because this is like a morning scene, okay? It's not a sunset scene. So I'm brushing it, or I'm doing some horizontal brush strokes like this, uh, because again, this is a model of uh, puddle model. <laughs> it's a puddle, so. Uh, we should follow the flow of water, or the movement or the image of water. Okay, like that, and then I think I'm gonna make this quite dark. So I'm gonna get my pure black and just color it with black.
like that so this is how I underpaint my canvas you can tell it's super raw I just want to get um, a view of how things are gonna go so I'm gonna use my black to already make um, preliminary detailing on the road or the pathway and if I haven't mentioned I think I did not mention during the intro of this video we will be using our palette knife okay in creating some more details later aside from using our ordinary brush okay, we'll be using some palette knife later some palette knives later all right okay so I think we can go back to the sky now where we started and you may choose to do another coating of underpainting for the sky I think I will do just a little okay I'm gonna get more titanium white because I already ran out ran out of um, titanium white and titanium white by the way is the color that I um, consume really really fast okay I'm gonna get my titanium white and mix it with the blue color that I have here and I'm gonna lighten that part of the sky near the horizon just lighten it up a bit okay I don't know what what that sound is but I think someone was fixing something that's why there was a sound of like a drilling object and it happens every time I'm making a video so <laughs> I'm very um, good in timing right all right so that's it that's what I like it's like it's quite dark here and light here I don't know if you notice the difference but there is so now I'm gonna go and make some distant trees and for that I'll be using um, my good old round stiff brush um, to create foliage at the back you can use a sponge for that okay there you go again with the noise but I hope you don't mind anyway I'm painting it's visual so I think we should focus more on what I'm doing than what you're hearing <laughs> all right so I'm gonna get my phthalo green okay like this I'm gonna mix it with white and then burnt sienna okay so it's like this muted green And I'm gonna damp it on the back on the background to create some distant trees I'm gonna mix up with yellow and then brown
All right, like that. Okay. Again, more yellow and brown. I hope that that annoying sound does not happen again. Uh, you know, distractions always happen every time I, I'm painting. I don't know if it's just me. <laughs> but as most of you already know, I don't really edit my videos. I post them as, as they are. That's why you can hear a lot of the street noises. You can even hear someone else talking behind, I mean, at the background. And then I'm gonna get my black. Okay, I'm gonna get my phthalo green and black. And I'm gonna use this to get more depth or give more depth rather right here. And also here. Okay before we do more detailing. And now I'm gonna get my ordinary square brush. Okay. All right, now we're going to um, create some tree trunks. I'm gonna get my black, all right? My burnt sienna. Let's just create some tree trunks. What day is it today? I think it's it's just Thursday. But it feels like Monday with all the noises that you heard or you've been hearing. I'm so sorry guys.
There is so many trees at the back. I'm so glad it's quiet now. I'm so sorry about that. We will be doing a lot of crazy um I call it crazy, um, crazy um, branches and like twigs and all that. And we'll be using a different color later. For now, we'll, we'll be doing or we'll be using some dark colors. So make it crazy as possible. <laughs> All right, like that. Again, I'm gonna wet my brush because this has dark paint and I'm gonna dab it on here just to make it more deep, okay? I don't want to use my brush in painting over that area because that would be too much. I just want to not glaze it, but somehow um, darken it, deepen it. Maybe some areas right here. The light is actually coming from the right side. That's why the left side, oh, sorry, sorry, from the left side, uh, that's why, um, the uh what they call this the left the right okay i don't have a sense of direction right now <laughs> so again again let me just clarify things the light is coming from the left side that's why the right side is quite light in color because it's hitting this way all right so yeah i hope that made it clear <laughs> All right, now I want to go and make some details on the snowy part. So I'm gonna get my pure white, okay. I'm going to highlight some areas. here as well and of course we have to highlight also this area okay, okay I'm gonna get my burnt sienna get your burnt sienna mix that with a tiny bit of yellow and again burnt sienna more burnt sienna I'm gonna glaze the snow portion with some brownie color later this will make sense okay for now allow me to show you the initial stages of um, detailing it 
got some yellow in there that I don't mind. Okay, I'm gonna get my brown again and then mix that with a tiny bit of black. Let's create some darker tones at the back. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out and then I'm gonna go here. Okay, I'm gonna get my phthalo blue and then white and then black. Just like this. Maybe more white, it's too dark. And I'm gonna use this to darken this area. Okay, using the blue color as well I'm just going to okay I'm gonna make it more blue okay, and then here and to be honest guys I really don't know what time will be finished but <laughs> I'm just gonna go for this Right, like that I'm gonna make this quite dark in terms of the blue color all right okay it's still pretty raw like no signs of uh, super detailed painting and now we go to the trees before we move back to the snowy part we go to the trees and for that i'll be using my mid yellow and brown or burnt sienna okay i'll be adding tiny bit of orange so it's like this color okay and tiny bit of black to tone down the yellowness and orangeness of the color maybe add tiny bit of orange all right, like this color. And then I'm gonna use this to apply on the tree trunks. And I'm doing it or I'm applying it vertically because I want to follow the shape of the tree trunks, which is vertical. Okay, And maybe this time I'm gonna go the um, horizontal, horizontal vertical combination, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing right here. And I'm gonna color some tree trunks with this color. I'm gonna add more white.
Okay, I'm gonna get more orange this time. I'm going to make this quite orangey. I'm going to apply some orangey colors. I'm going to get my yellow, okay? I'm going to apply the yellow color on the tree trunks quite randomly. I don't want to paint over the orange, okay? The orangey brown. We will apply this quite randomly, quite suddenly on the tree trunks. That's orange actually. Mixed with yellow. I need to add a little more tree trunk right here. And I'm going to extend this because I forgot it's quite extended. Okay, going to make some shadows. Okay. While I was it, uh, while I was at it, like the black color, I'm just gonna use that black color to apply on areas where I see black, because I don't wanna keep on washing my brush uh, and then keep dabbing on on the same dabbing it on the same color. As much as possible, I do that. Of course, we cannot really prevent that from happening. You know, sometimes we just wash a brush and then we're going to use the same color. But yeah, as much as possible, avoid that so that you save paint and you save time as well. Okay, now I'm going to wash my brush out. Let's use the orangey yellowy color to apply some light play. I'm gonna get my white. Let's lighten some areas.
some blue colors. I'm applying some mixture of phthalo blue and white. Okay, and then let's create some little reflections. Okay, little reflections on the puddle of water. So I'm going to get my black. gonna get back to my orangey browny color let's fix this area excuse me my brush I'm gonna get some more yellow right gonna get some white just markings on the tree trucks Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out and we're going to create some light tree trunks the colors so we're going to use this uh, this a brownie orangey color with white and maybe add more burnt sienna to tone down the color and maybe yellow as well and I'm just gonna use this to create some light or highlighted um, tree trunks So we're going to retain those already done tree trunks that we did earlier, but we're going to add highlighted tree trunks. Okay, that's really bad. Really, really bad. Right.
Okay, I'm gonna get my white, okay? I'm starting to like it. And actually, um, I was a bit uh, pessimistic about this. Right, like that. Okay, now I want to add more foliage, so I'm gonna use my round stiff brush to create more foliage. We're definitely not yet done with the snowy part, but I'm gonna get my phthalo green and then black. Okay, I want to create some greenery background, a little greenish. Okay, I'm gonna dab it on right here. These are, I think, evergreens, you know. Okay, now I'm gonna get my phthalo blue, then black. Let's create, okay, more blue, okay. Like this, really cool color. And dab it on the background. Okay, now we move on to detailing even more our snowy part and this time we will be using our palette knife. So just your ordinary palette knife, it doesn't matter what size, what type. I'm just using an old palette knife that you can see a lot of dried acrylics have uh, been uh, removed from it. But it's alright because it kind of adds texture to the, paint, to the paint on the canvas. So I'm going to dab it on to my white. I'm using the back of it and I'm just gonna use this to apply some snow. So here, like that.
my palette knife is super um, textured at the back that's why I'm not getting any flat um, um, what they call this flat uh, brush no not brush strokes palette knife stroke now I'm gonna get my ordinary brush all right I'm gonna get some brownie colors just to add more um, light play All right, now I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use my other palette knife because the other one is just too rough, okay? I cannot get any flat, um, flat uh, marking. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna make some gray color so I'm going to mix my white and black like this. And in the same manner, I'm just going to use this to apply on some areas. I'm gonna get my phthalo blue, okay. And just kind of mix it with the grays and the whites. Also here. And here. that all right getting really interesting all right so now I'm gonna we're not yet done with the trees by the way I know that it's like almost an hour but I kind of like uh, finishing this um, when I'm satisfied already I don't want to end this just because um, I feel like I don't feel like um, uh, doing a long video i will finish it even if it takes a long time all right so i'm gonna mix my cadmium yellow or mid yellow mix that with orange and then white Okay, some hints of that color. Maybe we can add more tree trunks.
add some shadow. going to highlight okay I'm going to highlight this area I'm going to get my phthalo green yep surprisingly I'm gonna get my phthalo and mix it with white and tiny bit of black just to tone the color we're going to dry brush this area with some greeny color very subtle okay like that Here, like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my black again. We're going to darken some areas to really make the light play um, effective. The contrast, right? Now I'm gonna get my white. I hope you really understand what I'm doing here. Um, Okay, like that and then more white okay maybe some gray color I'm adding some hints of blue even if there really is no blue from the reference image I kind of like the hint of blue I'm gonna add some dirt by mixing black with the white color Let's just fix this tree trunk like that. Just make some, add some more details on the pathway, like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. And I'm going to glaze the tree trunks with some white color. And I'm gonna glaze this part to make it more, um, like perspective wise, it should be a little blurry right should not be too visible to the eye let me check all right now i'm gonna glaze this one with some white you can hear all the noises from 
just watching this video. Alright, like that. Okay, I think I'm going to add more white. So I'm going to get again. Uh, okay, I'm going to get my palette knife again before you proceed to using our uh, fan brush. All right. I'm going to use the back of the palette knife and I'm just going to create more piles of snow I'm gonna dab on some like tiny um, blobs of white right here. Also here. Okay, now I'm going to use the side of the knife to create some highlights. Like that. If you love painting with palette knife, you probably will love this painting. Well, I hope so. And actually use your ordinary brush for this step but I'm just using my palette knife because I feel like it adds uh, interest to it I'm using the edge of the palette knife so that I can really paint 
over those um, stems or um, what do you call that? Yeah, the stems. Basically, mm, that's a huge blob of paint. Okay, now I'm just going to add some shadows right here because it's missing some shadows. So just outline the snow. I'm going to get my orange. Okay, let's go back to highlighting some tree trunks with some orangey color okay I just because the paint was still wet that's why but anyway Okay, let's highlight the back. Let me check. Wow, it's nice. So I think I'm going to glaze it even further with some um, hmm, yellow. some white then outline your pathway
Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> I'm just gonna correct this one. It kind of, it looks like it's a little weird, right? Let's create more. Okay, using this, um, the browny yellowy color, okay, using this color, we're going to make some more foliage. Okay, you can even add white. Like that. Okay, and I got, oh, I love this one, guys. Oh my god, I love this one. I started um, hating it, and now I, I'm loving it. Okay, I'm going to use my white. And some light blue. Maybe hints of light blues. Right, this is so good, right? This is so good. Oh my gosh! Uh, I I actually did not expect this. Uh, I did not expect that I will like it. In all honesty. Right. 
Yeah, I think we're done. We're done, guys. So I think I have to sign this now because this is... I really like this one. I I just love this one. I did not, again, I keep saying that, but I did not really expect this to be this good. At least to me. I don't know about you, but I kind of like the way it turned out. So I'm going to sign this now. I'm going to sign right here. And for my signature, I'm just going to use the remaining black and green things that I have. And sign it. All right, we're done. We're done, guys. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so nice. Okay, so we're done. And I hope you enjoyed uh, painting along with me. Uh, and I hope you really do this one as well. So it's almost Christmas time. It's almost winter. So see you in my next video. I hope you like this one. If you like this, like this video. There's a thumbs up button right there. Subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends so that the others will know that I exist. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys. And I really enjoyed this one. It's quite challenging, but I really, really enjoyed the result. See you in my next video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you.